hello friends today i'm going to uh, show you uh, like what are the terminologies that we had uh, in data factory okay so once you log into azure portal and you just go to the azure data factories here so as of now i'm having uh, two uh, factories and like uh, i'm selecting one so here we have this is normal page in the settings pane uh, we have networking settings uh, where we mostly not work with this but uh, we will cover these points as well uh, this is the public endpoint and this is the private endpoint so in order to uh, like uh, if you provide one identity system identity uh, so then we can uh, work upon this if you this this is one of the like system identity and like coming to properties you can get all these kind of information and if you want to log here you can get it there uh, coming here you can monitor and you can create the alerts as well and the, the you can go with the diagnostics test settings and everything coming to automation i uh, we don't use much this this is only for like uh, um, how much billing that we used to get okay so normally a uh, very rare case that we work uh, on this pen now to log in into the uh, adf like uh, here you need to launch click on launch studio so it will redirecting to the another tab so this is the way we really develop all the uh, pipelines and everything the first thing majorly when we are working uh, with uh, by adf what are the terminologies we used to listen is like pipelines pipelines data sets mostly uh, we used to hear only these terminologies okay like uh, here uh, it is like uh, ingest okay and like orchestrated keep and uh, drag and dropping and we are transferring data and configuring ISS. SS means if you have SSS packages you can use the using this option you can uh, integrate with the Azure data factory and you can configure SSS package as well into ADF okay now coming here like mostly uh, I am you know, I covered home coming to learning center where we used to have some tutorials templates so you can get it from Google as well and YouTube as well these things okay home and learning center don't have much importance coming to author so this is the page where we used to develop all the requirements okay coming to author here see this is the pipeline in the pipeline we we are uh, keep dragging one of the one where we used to build the logics using the pipelines only coming to change data capture change data capture will also available in sql server okay like uh, in simple terms is like the way of executing things are different okay and this is somewhat uh, the terminology and the behind technology is different means the working method what is my means by data capture means whatever the data it has been changed from the last time the newly copied change data will be get recorded that is what change data capture is okay and data sets data set means what for example uh, a flow or direct a direct connection to the table or we can uh, for example i want to uh, I want to make a uh, I want to make a copy of a table into Excel file to enter the blob storage this is what my requirement is okay so every day I want to do this with a date and number this is my requirement so what instead of providing everything so you can create a data sets where uh, used to work on which tables directly you can work on this right so uh, directly if you enable this uh, data sets directly uh, like you mean you are uh, working on those tables only okay so data sets is my the name itself is saying that right so on which data that we are working uh, that uh, that data we call it as a data sets here okay so we will show you how uh, we will show uh, one by one how what is data set how we need to configure and everything coming to data flow what is mean by that? for example i have a data okay like first name last name users country location everything we had a data so here what will happen i want to transform the data okay as per my requirement for example i have given a data set direct data set to you 
okay so what where the one you want to filter the data group by okay now once you filter the data using group by you want to filter uh, where the number of people living in that country uh, again uh, you have to filter more than that requirement aggregation again aggregation seven fill so you once you uh, once you were queried or requirement having transformations so then we used to go, uh, use this data flows to transforms the data as into as per our requirements okay using power query so everybody who works with power query or power bi or excel we have uh, the one um, window that is called power query interface right so in adf also we directly uh, connect using that interface we can modify the data we can uh, like modify the data and you can uh, add i mean you can add transformations using power query just like data flows and you can bring the data into the data factory i will we will show you all these one examples one by one first let's understand what it is like okay so coming to pipelines i'm going to uh, so if you want to build pipeline you just uh, right click on that you will get the one three start buttons you just you will get that new pipeline once you get that i am just uh, collapsing here this is this is the canvas where we used to build all the logics and everything okay and this is the properties window for example if you want what you are doing here i want to copy the table copying copying the table from sql server to a uh, blob storage so this is the uh, requirement right if i write this, uh, if i have seen that so whenever i see this thing right i will uh, easily get what i am doing here okay and i am minimizing this so i want to copy this data okay see this is uh, what are the modules that see here we have so many modules mu transform batch uh, data bricks okay and iterations for example you want to uh, do some loop conditions okay for example uh, in the blob storage i have so many cxc files okay so you want to go through the all the cxc files which in particularly which are there in the container for that you need to write the loop statement so all these loop statements will, will be there in the iteration so you need to select that okay so now now you see here whenever i select the pipeline the symbol is this whenever i select the data flow the symbol is this so whenever i select the due data set um, here what i need to select the uh, whatever here in that i need to select continue So okay, wait. Uh, see, whenever the data is uh, set, icon will be different here. And so that uh, I would just uh, make a note of that. Okay, whenever we sometimes by seeing the icons itself we need to know on which data flow that we are working on so this is what like uh, once this uh, video is completed we will come with the sample project as well now coming to monitor where we used to run the pipelines and where it when the trigger comes and when, what are the schedule that we have configured and what are the run integration run times that we have here okay self hosted on where we can't all see the, all these issues run just monitoring purpose coming to manage so mostly in sql uh, in adf we hear the linked server linked servers and integration runtimes as well so coming to git configuration while configuring uh, adf you get one option configure git later 
okay so uh, whenever you select that option so that option we, uh, we will use to get here okay so mostly linker servers we used to uh, listen every time what is mean by linker servers here the same question when i ask for myself for, as a dba in sql server what i used to get is like linker server is like uh, one of the service where we can connect other sql servers or other dbms services right this is what i used to said linker services has a dbm the same thing but little bit modified here linker server is like extra connecting to the external resources either whatever it can be so how many linker services are there we will see see uh, coming to data store these many amazon market blob amazon s3 cassandra and like mango okay and see cassandra and like dynamo these many uh, like resource external resources that we can connect coming to compute so these are the compute uh, missions or that we use to connect azure databricks as well okay so these many resources are there so whenever i connected that right directly i can go on a author and i can use see here i used to uh, i have already configured azure sql database right now if i go harder here coming to data sets So new data set Azure SQL Server. See what are the linker servers there? Directly we can connect from here. This will be helpful for here. If not, again we need to uh, create manually in each and every time. So this is the one of the helpful. Directly we are linking to the SQL uh, IDF resources. Whenever we used to get, uh, we can directly go create a data set, particular data set, and we can view. We can use that uh, resources. Okay. So the mainly that is the advantage. Uh, mainly these are the things. What are the things that we learned today is like, what is home? How we can launch ADF? What is the author? what is the monitor and what is the managed things in the author mainly what we hear is pipelines data sets data flow okay coming to manage linker servers and integration runtimes linkers what is meant by linker services means we are connecting to the external resources to the azure data factory integration runtime means just like uh, we are connecting on-prem sql uh, on-prem uh, servers okay uh, like uh, I will talk mostly of the SQL Server perspective. So, for example, uh, you have on-prem SQL Server that you want to make a connection to the uh, Azure Data Factory. At that time, you have to install one integration runtime, particularly in that machine. Okay. So at the uh, now, once you install, that integration will establish connection to your Azure Data Factory. It just like uh, in simple terms. Um, uh, you can consider this is like Azure Data Sync. Azure Data Sync will sync the uh, will establish connection and sync. Here it will first establish a connection. So how uh, later on we have to build the logic and we have to uh, transform our data and everything as per our requirement. So this is all about like uh, the things uh, in Azure Data Factory. In next video, I will coming with uh, how we can set up, how we can copy the Azure table uh, into uh, blob storage. Okay, I hope uh, you may like this video. Thank you.